Put me on. <laughs> I done, coached, I done coached a couple kids, but Will is special. You know, I never had a receiver like his caliber. The guy's a freak. He's always been a quiet assassin. He's one of the first kids that I can actually say, like, he can play everything on the field. My game, I'll say is unpredictable, basically. He can put me anywhere, you know, offense, anywhere, defense, I'll stay. He can do whatever he want to do to whoever. I haven't seen anybody really hold him down unless they triple team or, or double team or anything like that. Yeah, he can do a little bit of everything. He's fast, strong, can jump, and he can catch everything that you throw to him. He go to quarterback, he go to receiver, he go to safety, he go to running back. Like, he's just a special kid. God give it talent. Big, physical, fast, uh, can catch the ball, um, a limited range. Um, anything that goes up, he comes down with it. My name is William Fowles, this is my time. too much it's not a bad environment basically but it's good where I come from both parents at home brothers brother got seven brothers that's a good environment good home hey fellas make sure we come to practice hey you have a little coach out here make sure y'all get started y'all know what we got to do get the stretching get the dynamic out the way all right y'all know we gonna run we gonna run coach George Stubbs head coach and it's awesome, man. Especially you know somebody that's humble as Will. Um, he, he's basically like family, man. I, I basically um, know the whole family. I, I've been coached by you know his uncle. So we basically like family, man. We've been doing this for four years, man. But just the Lord, the aspect, man, it's hard to find in, in in high school football. Period. Everybody want to go to the hot spot. This young man can go anywhere he want to go, but he decided to stay you know home and, and play for Coach Stubbs. And definitely, definitely appreciate that, man. Loyalty goes a long way. And I think that's why a lot of schools are after him because he didn't jump from school to school. You know, he, he stayed at one place. He was dedicated to, to, to one team. And I believe he, he showed that every year. Every year he, he's grown. You know, there's no year that was stagnant. Every year the stats went up, you know. And I think that's why he's in the position that he is right now to be able to go anywhere he, he wants to go. But it, it's a great opportunity. You know, those freaks don't come around all the time. They come once in a blue moon. I was just, just you know, glad that I was able to coach one. I feel good. Coach Thud is like an uncle. I've been with Coach Thud since ending of my eighth grade. When I came in, might be Christian. He's at might be Christian ninth grade. He's been coaching me ever since. Yo, good job, good job of getting after us when we went on level on level. Yo, we the only ones gonna make ourselves better. We the only ones gonna make each other better. That's All right. Yo, huddle up! Hello. Julius Eppinger, offensive coordinator and receivers coach at Avant Guard. Um, I don't coach I don't coach a couple kids, but Will is special. You know, I never had a receiver like his caliber. Um, I, I seen it, I played with him with uh with Andre Johnson, but to 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 able to coach him and and get him the ball whenever need, or he come to me and say, Coach, I'm ready. And we get him the ball and he makes a play, it's, it's, it's very special and it, it makes my job a lot easier. It feels good to be coached by um, Coach Drew, you know, former FIU wide receiver. He went to the highest level, well, higher level than me. So I'm going to take everything in that he's telling me so I can become great and elevate my game. 
our coaching style is in your face. You know, I expect perfection. Um, if it's not perfect, you need to be close to perfection. Um, I like to win. Every everywhere I've been, I've been a winner. Um, from from little league to high school to optimist to college. Um, that that and I expect nothing less. We get, we got to win. His coaching style is very. He's very aggressive. He like no breaks. It's fast, fast, fast. Nothing slow. No breaks in between. You just gotta get it. Yo, that's that self. Keep running your route. There it go. My name is Eugene Richardson. I'm the assistant head coach at Avant Guard and I help out with the receivers. I was blessed. I felt like I was blessed to be able to coach Will Files, especially at his caliber, at his superstar caliber, because like, like it's always one in a million. It's one in a million with Will Files. Oh, it's been a good. It's, been, it's, it's good to be coached by Coach Rich. He's been coaching me since eighth grade, ninth grade, I'll say. Good relationship. He's been helping me in and out of school. It's a good on and off relationship on the field. My coach is style, like, I'm basically like the fun coach. Like, I'm the get get along with coach. I'm the coach that put my arm around your shoulder, come talk to you when you're down. I'm the coach that's trying to bring you up all the time. His coach is style, he can coach anything. So it's really anything with him I could take in, too. He played at a higher level than me, so I'll take in anything he say and use it to my advantage. Set, go! Hey, just execute and focus. Execute and focus. We play in this game every year. My name is Demetrius Files, and I'm Will's uncle. As an uncle, I'm super proud of uh, Will. Um, but I'm also big brother to his dad, so I'm super proud of the family and all of the support that he's gotten up to this point. Um, the sky's the limit for Will. Uh, and with the strong backing that he has at the house and has always had growing up, it makes me proud. I mean, I beat my chest all the time. Every time he does something well and every time I get a chance to post him, I'm going to continue to do so. So I'm super proud as a hunk. Always bringing his name up anytime I, I see any, any young kids or anybody post some list that he's not on. Um, but I'm super proud of him. I got a good relationship with my uncle, Coach D. He's been taking care of me since, I uh, say, since birth. He's been helping me. I've been at his house a couple of times since a baby with his son, working out. It's a good relationship. I still talk to him to this day. If we execute and we protect the football, they lose by a lot. That's what I expect to happen. Last week that didn't, this week it will. Everybody understand that? Yes. Um, his game reminds me of Andre Johnson, a guy I used to play with when I was in high school. Big, physical, fast, uh, could catch the ball, um, unlimited range. Um, anything that goes up, he comes down with it. The guy's a freak. He could do whatever he want to do to whoever. I haven't seen anybody really hold him down unless they triple team or, or double team or anything like that. And, you know, we just got a smart quarterback that's not going to for, force it over there. You know, we work with, inside our game and, 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 ha and work around it to try to put the ball in his hands the best way that we can. But uh, his game is unique because, like, I can, I, like, he's one of the first kids that I can actually say, like, he can play everything on the field. He go to quarterback, he go to receiver, he go to safety, he go to running back. Like, he's just a special kid. God give it Tyler. Man, if I had to, if I had to put him against any any type of receiver, I would say he's more like a, a George Pickens from Georgia, um, or, or 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 Adams. Um, good hands, soft hands, great route running, um, just deceptive speed. Nobody has caught him yet. Um, slants to the house. We we gave him the ball in every route we could possibly find because that was a problem. Everybody was talking about his speed, and I think about us giving him the ball and hitch, take it to the house, slant, take it to the house. Bomb, of course, take it to the house. 50-50 um, ball, take it to the house. Um, we did everything to show everybody that he is the real deal. He is one of the top receivers in South Florida, in the state, in the nation, period. For me, I, I, I consider my nephew a mutant. Um, so that's how I'm going to describe this game, is a mutant. Yeah, he can do a little bit of everything. He's fast, he's strong, he can jump, and he can catch everything that you throw to him. There's not one guy I've seen out there that can man up on a one-on-one. -on -one. So um, if we're going to think about superheroes or mythological creatures, I consider him to be a mute. My game, I'll say, is unpredictable, basically. 
Because you can put me anywhere on offense, anywhere on defense. I'll still make any plays you want, make any type of plays, big plays. Yup, 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 yup. Man, you always have a good chance when you got it like that at the helm. And he become, he's become more of a leader. He used to be, you know, quiet and showed everything by his actions. But I think this year um, he'll be a force to be reckoned with because now he's gonna he's gonna pull that team in the right direction to get him to get them to play with him. Will gotta he always bringing his teammates up. Like Will never have his head down, even though he's going through some tough times. Will never have his head down. He always bringing his team up. He's always he's a born leader. The crazy thing about Will is man, he's not self-absorbed. He feeds off the energy of his team and his boys. But when that's happening, them boys feel like, you know, they're playing, they want to win, they're in the game. That takes Will to a whole nother level. He gonna make shit happen for his little brothers. You know, and that's just, it's crazy that, you know, I say that, but that's all I saw all summer was him go take his game to a whole nother level, playing receiver, playing safety. Whatever it took was to have that opportunity to get that W and win that championship, he did it. He went to a whole nother, this summer I've seen him, and I know it's 7 on 7, but he went to a whole nother level um, this this summer um, in 707. We won two college championships, 707s, and came in ranked like uh, no, later, no, no lower than four in the rest of them, you know. Um, but like I say, with him at the helm and him being more vocal and telling the, the, the team what we want to do and what we want to accomplish, I think that helps us out a lot because a lot of these leaders don't like to talk. They don't want to be vocal. They don't want to lose friends, but I think he's out of that already. You know, he's already probably, you know, achieved what he's going to achieve in high school. The next thing, you know, is a ring from him. You know, it's a ring for him. That's all he like. All the offers, all American. You know, the only thing we get right now that make him full circle is a high school state championship ring. And I'm gonna try my best to make sure he get that. Well, Will Will's character towards the team is kind of is kind of different. Uh, you normally see uh, superstars like that thrive off of what they do, but Will likes to thrive off of what everyone else does. So if everyone else has come to the party ready to play, Will takes his game to another level. If if we're if the running back gets a 30-yard rush or or a 50-yard touchdown, Will Will is more excited than than the guy who ran the touchdown in. Right now, I say it's good. We got we got enough chemistry. I say we got enough chemistry that we need to win games. Growing up, Will was always quiet. He didn't. He's showing a lot more personality than I knew he had as an uncle. But he don't say much. Even at the even at the house, he's always been a quiet assassin. Um, so it's good to see when he go out there and make plays, him smiling and have a good time with his teammates. But he's always been been a quiet kid, always. He, he, for as long as I've known him, um, hard worker, eat a lot, but overall just a quiet kid. Well, this season, I'm just trying to make him finish out the season strong, healthy, and ready for the next level. Um, my goals and expectations is to the roof. Um, he had like 1,400 yards. I'm trying to get him 2,000, 100 catches, maybe 30 touchdowns. Um, um, this year, I expect Will to continue to be the dominant player that he's been over the last three years. Expect them to play big, make the plays that he's always been making, make a few more, help his team to get a few more victories, and ultimately graduate and go to that big school that he wants to go to. Um, basically, just to keep doing what he's doing, uh, mature, um, he's already, um, basically did everything we expected him to do as far as right now, even more. I believe he's one of the best receivers in the state of Florida, if not one of the top ones physically, speed, hands, everything. I think he's just been flying off the radar as of, um, lately. Um, just, just want him to just continue to just be humble. He's a humble kid, quiet spoken, you know, not a lot of rah-rah until he gets in the game. That's the only time he really shows emotion, you know, in the game, you know, and I, like I said, I just want to keep on moving in that direction, staying humble, work hard, and do all the things the right way. Um, I think Will will score maybe around 10 to 15. I believe Will should have like 14 touchdowns at the end of the season. I'm expecting Will to have a great year and be a leader for his team, not only with his play, um, but with how he brings his other, other teammates along as well. Whether it's encouraging them, whether it's blocking for them, whether it's being that guy that's going to get double teamed so the guy on the other side can get the ball. Um, looking for him to be the leader that he is. It's been a long time coming. He's been there since his freshman year. 
Now he's a senior, so seniors need to step up and lead. I'm sure he's going to do that with his play. Who can cover Will your fouls? No one. Who can stop Will Files? Nobody. Nobody can stop Will Files. I haven't seen somebody do it yet. Who can stop Will Files? Uh, nobody can stop him. I don't think nobody can stop him. A top prospect, very tough, very physical. Can play inside, outside. Whoever gets this guy, man, they're going to be real lucky to have him. Hey, we got to go. But before we leave, and for those of y'all back home, let them know what we got to do, man. Fight, grind, shine, like, and subscribe. That's it. Good job, good job, good job.